Welcome back to the channel, Boss KO Music, Plug Media, Child Hip Hop Reaction Channel, man. Thank you for tapping in with us, man. Uh, enjoy this reaction that we got coming right now. We ain't going to hold too much of your time up. Hit that like and subscribe button, man, so it can help with the algorithm, so we can get it out there. And, you know, more people are getting in tune with our videos. Hit that like and subscribe button right now. Enjoy the content. Puff say this party, Playboy, this party right here, let's see it. Million and a half dollars. I said, what? You spent a million and a half dollars on this party? I got a chance to see some things. Right. And I saw it. But I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was it was pretty wild. Was true, true. Though. But here's what's crazy. The people at the party, Puff at that time had a room. Missy Elliott had a room. Dun, 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 dun. You know what I'm saying? I think they never been to a Diddy party. If you're not dancing, I just got hot. Then you got to go. So security, dancing. if you see somebody and they not dancing, <laughs> they got to go. Yeah. I remember watching Puff at the Beverly Hills Hotel, and it's a pool party that is ridiculous. Man. And I look up and I see Dr. Ruth. Diddy is known for being a hip-hop mogul and the owner of the very successful music label Bad Boy Records. But more than his music, he's known for throwing some unbelievable parties. These parties are so bizarre that not a lot of the attendees talk about what happens in them. Luckily, one of these attendees is more than willing to come forth with all the weird stories from Diddy's parties. What did Jamie Foxx see at these parties? And how did he finally manage to escape them? Let's find out. I think they never been to a Diddy party. If you're not dancing, I just got hard. Then you got to go. So security, Don't if you see somebody and they not dancing, <laughs> they got to go. Yeah. Period. Point blank. Diddy has made himself an insane amount of fortune thanks to his record company, Bad Boy Records. It's how some of the biggest names in the hip hop world, like the notorious B.I.G., French Montana, and Machine Gun Kelly. Diddy is a millionaire, and if there's one thing he doesn't mind blowing money on, it's his elaborate and freak. Yo, we back. So, you know, tell me in the comments what you think about this reaction so far, man. I think the video nice, man. I think we post nice videos, nice content for you guys to enjoy, man. Drop some comments below. Let me know what you think about this content, man. You know, uh, appreciate you tapping in. You know what I'm saying? Hit the like and subscribe button for us right party. now. What's up, man? Get a look at it, it up, baby. baby. Come on, let's get these ladies over here. Let's do it. It looks like the one thing Diddy is really passionate about is his parties. He pours all his heart in making sure his parties are unforgettable. Be it birthday bashes on the 4th of July parties, you know that man is going to go all out. His white summer parties are the talk of the town and everyone wants an invite. Paris Hilton was happy to have been invited to his first white party. I remember the first party he threw in the Hamptons. Paris Hilton tells THR it was iconic and everyone was there. His parties have guest lists that can feature more than a thousand guests and these parties come with very strict dress codes, such as the white parties in which everyone must show up dressed in white from head to toe. Martha Stewart was invited to one such party and spoke about how strictly everyone followed these rules. Having an entire party all dressed in white was a stunning sight, says Martha Stewart, a guest at the first party. And it helps that Diddy looked very handsome in white. Considering how dominating and controlling Diddy is known to be, it's not surprising that people are turned away from these parties for showing up in black shoes. That being said, not all his parties can be talked about. Diddy is notorious for holding bizarre and weird parties that not a lot of people can come forth and talk about. But there is one regular guest at Diddy's parties who isn't afraid to talk about all he's seen. I would show up to the party in my little, uh, in a little town car, this town, you know, I grabbed a town car so I could skirt, puff the SUVs and the road and Bentleys. Of course, these parties are exclusive and fancy and ridiculously expensive. Only a few people are invited to these secret parties, and these people don't have much choice but to show up to these parties. After all, Diddy has made himself an empire in the music industry, and anyone who dares to go against him should just kiss his career goodbye. Diddy doesn't hold back when it comes to spending money on parties, girls, drugs, and alcohol. He will go to any length to have a good time, which is why his secret parties cost millions. He doesn't even try to hide how much money he spends on these outrageous parties. In fact, he himself told Jamie Foxx how much just one of these secret parties cost him. Well, Puff say this party, Playboy, this party right here, I see a million and a half dollars. I said, the what? You spent a million and a half dollars on this party? Diddy's parties cost him a fortune, but they were sure memorable. And mostly, not in a good way. 
For one, Jamie thought these parties were a waste of money. You could have a good time with just $400 instead of spending more than a million on a night. Puff, I'll throw you a party for 400 bucks. <laughs> that, uh -huh. that will rival this party. Diddy was offered that Jamie would insinuate he was stupid for spending so much on a single party, but he quickly got over the jab. In fact, the next time he was in town, he asked Jamie to arrange a party of his own. Well, I got Kentucky Fried Chicken. I put it, I put it in a nice plate. I said, I got Coca-Cola. I put it in a pitcher. We're at 208 bucks and we are killing it right now. Jamie had to go to all these parties that Diddy hosted because Diddy was a music mogul and Jamie needed a breakthrough. And I was trying to get in music at that time, so I would throw parties for a reason because Puff was so famous with music. Obscene amount of money wasn't the only problem with these parties. In fact, it was the least of the problems. Some bizarre things were going on at these parties. It seems like Diddy used these parties to act out his sexual fantasy. And Tupac was like a couple, it seemed like to me. Uh, it was just a lot of weird shit going on, you know what I'm saying? The vibes ain't there. I guess that, that's what Tupac was talking about, the Illuminati and shit. In public, Diddy has always been a straight family man. He has beautiful kids and a late wife who he seems to love very much. But in these secret parties, he is a completely different man. He was seen with Tupac acting like a couple. Diddy might never openly admit that he's gay, but he doesn't necessarily try to hide it either. In fact, oftentimes his- Yo, we back. Another commercial break while we going through this reaction, man. Uh, you know, while we at it, man, make sure you go like the whole video on the reaction that we did. Make sure you, you know, follow up with that creator. Make sure you stay posted to our notifications. Also, hit that subscribe button, man. We appreciate you tapping in with us, man. Uh, you know, watch the video all the way through. Let us know if you like these videos. If we could bring more ideas, let us know some of the YouTubers you would like for us to cover. And we'll cover them on our platform. Appreciate you tapping into the platform. Like I say, hit the like and subscribe button. Man, more Parties videos on the way. In rather bizarre ways. His ex-bodyguard had quite a few stories to tell about Diddy's sexual adventures. After one such party, Gene found Diddy naked with another young rapper in a hotel room. Gene recalls finding them both like this, and Diddy didn't seem to bother that Gene saw it all. Puff looked at Ja. He said, yo, Ja said, you ain't want to go in that room because there's a lot of freaking going on. <laughs> Tupac isn't the only prominent man he's been linked with at these parties. In fact, there's a whole list of male rappers he seemed to have tried to get with. Some of these people were not afraid to come forward and talk about Diddy's advances. The most surprising person in this list is none other than 50 Cent. No one would ever imagine that Diddy would hit on 50 Cent, but apparently even 50 Cent wasn't safe from Diddy's advances. 50 Cent recalls this story in a rather funny way saying, and He was like, yo, he's like, yo, so yo, when we gonna get the chance to, you know, to kick it, like we could just hang out. We gotta, we gotta kick that. it. This is Paul. Okay. You're telling me we gotta kick it. And he was like, right. yo, why don't we like go shopping? I mean, like, I pay for it. And I was like, this just sound good. Diddy is famous for taking his flings shopping. So when he asked 50 Cent this, the poor rapper was visibly taken aback. Well, you're yet to hear the worst of it. At least 50 Cent was an adult that could easily turn down Diddy's advances because there was someone else who couldn't. Usher was sent to live with Diddy as his mentor before his first album when he was just 14 years old. Some really concerning videos have since emerged that make Diddy look like a complete monster. I used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, that's out. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the frosted flakes. Diddy had been sharing a bed with Usher when he was just 